Welcome back, Zero K fans. It's Shadow 33 with the last exhibition match for tonight, which is going to be Godev versus Randy. And I don't want to say tonight because it's 2 p.m. But anyway, Godev versus Randy, which is going to be very exciting because I mentioned earlier that Godev is one of the best players in Zero K, and Randy is the other best player in Zero K. The two best players in Zero K playing against each other, which we actually have seen before. But hey, it's always nice to see. So Randy going for Cloggy Bots. Very quickly, just one Glaive for scouting. Not sure what he's going to do after that. Gota, on the other hand, going for jump bots, because Gota being Gota, he's... He does everything. He's the best tester for this game. Gotta say. I mean, it... I know everyone kind of jokes, well, if Gota does it, it's just Gota doing it. But you know what? He plays everything, and I appreciate that. I respect that. Because I try to play everything, too. Actually, I really do. I tend to play spiders and... More... Uh, I remember when I started playing spiders and gunships quite a bit, but... I probably sp play spiders more than I should, and gunships were always fun too. I, I really appreciate when people go for the less popular factories and see what they can do because you find cool things that they can do. Because remember, all the, everyone else out there who's not Gota, Gota is Gota, yes, but he's playing the same game you guys are. So if he does something, yeah, you're gonna have to kind of follow it pretty closely and really get an idea of why he does. It's gonna take a lot of study to do that, but. If he does it, it is possible to be done. That's the thing to point out. So it does show that these factories are at least to some extent usable. And bearing in mind, you might call this a handicap, but Randy is the other best player in the game. So Gota is playing against an evenly matched player going for a jump bot factory. We'll see how this turns out, but just worth noting, we shall see really good test of exactly how viable jump bot factory can be. At least in one game, obviously multiple tests to be sure, but it's still good to see. I'm I'm happy to see this not just Cloaky Shield light vehicle. Now, Randy has been expanding nicely to the south. He's not been expanding to the north as well. Notice that drone to this in the tournaments, and Gota is doing this as well. He's expanding simultaneously north and south, but Randy is not yet doing that. He's consolidating his base a bit more quickly, getting some defenders up. Now he's going over to here to build up some energy economy. So Gota is slightly ahead in he's ahead in energy. He's identical in metal. He is not upgraded as commander, and neither has... No, Randy has. Beam Laser, E-Cell, Recon Com. Interesting mix of old and new there. Of course, Beam Laser, E-Cell being the old meta for what commander build should be, but Recon Commander Chassis being the new meta. Gota's coming in here on the southwest, though, with a pyro, and this harassment will be able to deal some damage, but not a whole lot. Might be able to damage a f max. Yeah, that's not much. Might have been a good idea just to jump in, but honestly, that wasn't the best angle to attack from. I mean, Gota didn't really know, it's just that little bit of Miss Micro there, because getting through that laser turret, not going to happen. However, Gota does have more pyros on the way, so it's not the end of the world, of course. He's still got game in him. Going over to the north side and taking that. We saw the last game against Lowry, he's very keen on taking the north side, and probably going to take the south side fairly quickly as well, but he's taking the north side in this game. As you can see, the way the map is structured, it's such that the north side is closer to the west, the eastern player, and the south side is a bit closer to the western player. The hill, just one hill to get up here, and when you're dealing with recon comms, they can just jump up that hill. It might as well not be there for recon comms. So it's just faster. Easier to get in the north side for the eastern player, and the south side for the western player. So Goat is going for the, well, this nearer choice. Slightly nearer, but makes all the difference, or at least it can. And another battle about to be joined along the north side. Randy is probably going to lose this, assuming the Pyros don't take too much damage. The Defender here is being a bit of a thorn in their side. It will go down quickly. The Glaive is going to come around to try to deal with these Pyros, but Glaives do not do well against Pyros. However, enough Glaives can actually do some damage. They will get damaged a lot in the process, but they can do it. And three Glaives, sorry, three Pyros against all these Glaives, not a problem. Losing one Pyro, though, that is, that is a loss. But still able to get rid of a lot of Randy's Glaives. See, I think... There's got to be at least nine or eight or nine glaives that got torn apart in that. Five glaives left against three pyros. The three pyros would win, but they should repair and retreat. Sorry, retreat and repair. Getting back to their commander to repair and factory still pumping out. Now pumping out some freakers, but mostly pumping out. Pu yep, pyros, not puppies. Pyros. Wasn't sure if he's going to go for a mass puppy attack because that wouldn't work yet. There aren't there aren't enough reclaim fields for mass puppy to work, but. Pyro's coming in as well, and Lays... Okay, the Lotus is going to be a bit of a pain, and the Rocco, nice choice by Randy. He is going for 
Rocco Warrior mix, which against Pyros will definitely deal with him. We saw a game on Thursday between Goda and El Torero, where Goda also went for jump bots, and he did a lot of puppies late in the game, and he had a lot of Pyros early on, and unfortunately El Torero built way too many glaives near the mid to late game, and that did not help him. But the Zeus's did. Actually, that's that's nothing to point out. Zeus's against small numbers of Pyros do pretty well, and Rocco's should do quite well as well, and the Warriors can just tank the fire. Let's see how this goes, though. Okay, it's kind of odd that the HP is not being displayed above it. But anyway, the Warrior is going to be able to take care of these Pyros, unless they jump, and they do! Okay, it's odd. Anyway, selection which got a little bit bugged out, but that's beside the point. The point is, Randy is defending his territory to the north. Gota can't quite move in. He can consolidate along this north side, and he is starting to take the south side as well. And this is important, Randy is not taking this south side. So Gota is starting to take the center of the map, and Randy is ahead economically right now. He does have this reclaim field, so that's helping him a lot. And he might lose, he's going to lose a Rector, but he's going to be able to take care of, he might be able to take care of this Pyro. The Pyro's going to jump away, there we go, and that's going to get it out of harm's way nicely. So a free Rector kill, or, yeah, it looks like a total kill. That Rector just burned to death. So free Rector kill, and actually free Glaive kill on top of that, and a free Rocco, no, not a free Rocco kill. Two for three, not a bad shot, but Randy pushing out as a counterattack, and Goda with a lot of Pyros, actually starting to get placeholders as well, just to stop these Roccos from doing much of anything. But that is a lot of Roccos. Definitely a good choice there from Randy. And those Roccos forcing Goda to not... to seed some map control in the center. So Randy's cutting through the center while Goda takes the edges. Goda can pincer, but... it's... I mean, it's a nice spear going through here with Randy. He's actually making a beeline for Goda's main from the looks of it. Or at least he's setting up right in front of it. This placeholder might change things, though. No, he's not going for the base. He is actually going for the south expansion, possibly. We'll see what happens when he moves forward. He's, cons he's just posturing at this point. And two of the Rockos getting knocked into a black hole. Still able to deal some damage, though. Not much, but defiantly attacking that Pyro. The others, however, are going over to the south to take care of all this. Now, placeholder, it's once again ready. And these Rockos are actually quite nearby. Three of them getting... No, only two of them getting knocked in. The warrior managed to escape, and the other two also escape. Nothing as follow-up. A pyro goes down, and Gota is trying to harass the north as well. The north is undefended, so this is going to be quite effective. I should say, not undefended. There's only lotuses, and the lotuses actually can deal a lot of damage to the pyros. In fact, the pyros are not... They're not taking care of them very well, either, actually. And to the south, the Rockos are tearing apart Gota's attempt to hold that south, so Randy making sure he's keeping his nearby expansion as best he can. Gota, however, dealt some damage to the static defenses here, but no damage to the metal, no damage to the economy. Just the Lotuses. So round two would go in Gota's favor, but Gota's much more concerned about the south. He does not have any resources to expend trying to attack the north. Both players are quite even right now, although Randy is having to push back a bit. He is losing Rockos to that placeholder quite regularly. Three or four Rockos every shot, thanks to the Pyro support. So he can't quite be so cavalier, but still, he does have a good hold in his front line. Not really a contain, but he has the front line. He's he's keeping himself in a good position. He's going to have a good position to consolidate from once he starts to do so. I still am surprised he hasn't expanded a bit down here and started to expand to the south. I don't see any rectors. I see his commander. Where are his rectors? He has one over here and one to the center. So this these two rectors look like they are likely to go down in the south once this area is Randy's, because Randy is... He's doing a really nice job saving his units. Gota is slowly bleeding Pyros, while Randy slowly but surely builds up a large army to keep the center under his control. Now, Gota, on the other hand, does still have the north, does still have a pretty good economy. He is starting to switch into Sumo. Oh, wow, I was going to say into Jack, but... Yeah, Sumo, okay, that's going to make a difference. A small difference, at least. I mean, the Rockos are going to have a hard time running away from it. They can be jumped on. The Glaives, however, they're going to get slowed down pretty heavily, but there's got to be two... There's, okay, there's almost two dozen Glaives here. So this Sumo is not going to have a complete cakewalk fight, but it is going to still be useful. With Pyro support, the Pyros will be able to take care of the Glaives, and the Rockos should be... Well, it's a question of how they're used. It's a question of micro at this point. If they run away from the Sumo, it's split up enough so only one or two die at a time, and the rest get nice free shots off, it should go well. 
However, Randy has gone for an air switch just now, starting to get shadows, and that is going to change things. That sumo will take a lot of damage to the shadows, and from there, that is just... Well, that's what shadows do. They deal a lot of damage to single heavy units. And the glaze going nice, nice assault from the north. There's a small attack in the south from the rockers, but the glaze in the north, that's the really important thing. Getting rid of three of Gota's mechs is possibly four, possibly more if he goes over to the north side and starts to take all of this. There's only five defenders on that, though I don't know if Randy's going to go for that. He's going to go for this last... One here, nice split as well. Make sure to only possibly lose... Okay, losing four glaives. The two glaives here is a bit of a missed micro. But these two glaives, that's a fine sacrifice. And the rest of the glaives, however, that was off the main line. So there aren't as many glaives in the main line. Not that it matters because of pyro support, but still, not as many glaives. And the Rocco's doing a very good job. Actually, Defender as well, getting rid of that pyro. And a couple of glaives around back here, but the sumo was able to slow them down before they got... Actually, not even the sumo. There's a moderator around here. Or maybe it was the sumo. Okay, it looks like there is no moderator. Okay, I can't even check. I don't know why I'm trying. There is no moderator around here from the looks of it, but there is a sumo that does slow things down. So at this point, we are in the consolidation phase. Both players are just setting up their metal. There is Randy's expansion to the south. Gota has already taken his expansion to the north, but Randy has a reclaim field. He has his entire center of the map where a lot of the battles happened, and he's able to reclaim most of that. Although he's also got something else up his sleeve. Can't quite see it though. Where? No, he's got no overdrive. Neither player has overdrive, really. So he's just reclaiming the center of the map from the looks of it. Though I can't see where the reclaim's happening. Anyway, it doesn't really matter though, because this, this is the fight going on. This is what I mean by good micro. Actually, Randy doing a very nice job here. Avoiding that sumo nicely. Oh. What are these guys on? They are on... Well, it looks like they are just on move orders. From the looks of it. Randy nicely micromanaging them. Getting them out of the way. And that sumo not able to do too much. Go to unfortunately losing a lot. But nice flank by the pyros. Okay, that is an awesome flank. That gets rid of all the Rockos. I mean, they were up against that hill too. So go to... He almost lost the sumo, but he took out all the Rockos in the process. Lost a lot of Pyros too, but still. Actually, he's going to lose that sumo. Just barely, but he's going to lose it. That Shadow's going to take it out, and down it goes. Sumo is down. It did a pretty good job, though, getting rid of these Rockos and loosening Randy's hold in the center of the map. Now, Gota is trying to move his commander down, trying to take more to the center. But he's still not in the best position to do so. There are still a bunch of bombers going around. A couple of Archangels would not be a miss, but I think he's just going to go for Avengers to take air control that way. Like, get rid of the bombers and also establish air control of his own. Now, Randy at this point is still going for shadows. Going heavy on shadows. Hundreds of shadows. He wants all the shadows. Not going for anti-air. Probably going to switch to Avengers once he sees Gota building some. And there are Gota's Avengers right on cue. But Gota, nice use of the Jag here. Taking out of the center. This is all just a reclaim field now. Some Rockos. Still softly in Randy's control, but Gota is slowly but surely eroding that. It's still kind of tough. Gota does have... Has a bit of an uphill fight against him, but he does have... Well, not much to worry about in the center. There are still Rockos, but he can get rid of them. He's getting map control. That's pretty, that's huge. Getting rid of the Shadows. There's the Avengers. I was looking for that. Airplane pen on the Avengers. More Pyros coming out for support, and I'm a bit surprised... Like I said, once again, no Archangels. Actually, I'm a little surprised no Firewalkers, honestly, against all these Rockos. That wouldn't be a... I mean, it wouldn't be the best idea, maybe, but it wouldn't be a bad one. Because it would it would set up areas where the Rockos can't safely go, and Rockos don't have a whole lot of health. So they try to walk through the Napalm fields. They'd end up, well, burning to death, obviously. Pyro doing a nice job just trying to set as many Rockos on fire as possible. Not going to kill any of them, but is going to make it easier for the next batch of Pyros to get rid of. Or at least damage. The Rockos do not have automatic healing, or if they do, it's very light. Not like Glaives, but it doesn't... Okay, now Gota is... He is establishing map control. He may not have to... Actually, he's getting the center now, thanks to that map control. Warriors and Rockos trying to get rid of the Pyros on the ground, but the Avengers in the air... They're doing a nice job getting rid of what they can. Randy trying to take revenge, though. Four Avengers coming in, and it looks like... Randy's... Well, losing one Avenger to a placeholder. The other Avengers just getting destroyed by numbers. And... Randy continuing to build more and more Avengers. Probably going to send another batch of half dozen or so. Getting some Jethro's as well. So he wants to... Well, he's going from the ground to establish anti-air. 
This is going to weaken his ground army a bit. Right now, Gota does not have a massive investment in ground army, so it's not the biggest deal. Oh, wait a sec. Yeah, Freakers have this. Okay, it's the Freakers that slow down the Glaives early in the game. Forgot about that. There is a change to Freakers. They do have a slow beam on them. Not a disruptor beam like the moderators. The moderators have a disruptor beam now. Not a slow beam. So yeah, Jump Bot's got a bit buffed. But anyway. Randy is... Oh, not taking damage in the south yet, but he is vulnerable there. He is trying to... Going for a full-on attack. Just attacking Gota's base directly to try to take out what he can. I mean, it's going to be tough, but... Coming in with the warrior. This warrior is going to die thanks to the freak... Start, yeah, thanks to the freaker slowing it down. And at the same time, Gota's Avengers getting rid of the... Actually, they are getting rid of this expansion. Nicely done. So Gota has gotten the south out of Randy's control. He has taken the north as well. Randy, however, does have... He's got an overdrive around here somewhere. I am surprised. Reclaim somewhere around here, apparently, because he is getting metal, and I don't exactly know... No, I'm not entirely sure how. He doesn't have quite his... Oh, I see. That's why. Gota doesn't have his extractors to the south. That's where Randy's getting the advantage from. Like, Randy's a couple of extractors nearer to the center. Gota does not have the extractors to the south. And Randy is now, with Reclaim, getting a bit more income in. Gota retaking this extractors to the south. He's going to get his economic advantage back. And going for yet another sumo. It's going to be another minute before that's up. But still, that's another sumo. Important to have. Now... Go to taking map control, taking the center. Randy on the back foot now. The circumstances have changed slightly, but the Jethro's are going to make that a bit less certain. The Avengers, I mean, can still avoid the Jethro's without too much issue, but the problem, of course, is the Jethro's can be killed pretty easily by ground. If more for the fact that Goda is going for the Sumo, he have probably about a dozen Pyros by now, which would just rip apart these Jethro's. And it looks like the Jethro's are no longer the focus. There's been about a dozen made, and after that, it's just going to be... Go to going for, well, once the Sumo's done, going for more Pyros, and the Jethro's are not going to last long. They don't have much Warrior support. They have a bit, but not much, and the Warriors are fairly slow. Not bad against the Pyros, but they're still fairly slow, and Sumo, it's up again. I'm a bit surprised Gota hasn't actually reclaimed this Sumo, gotta be honest. But he hasn't. He still has not yet reclaimed that Sumo. And I just want to know, where is his commander? The Frigate in the north, he has... Neither player has lost their commander, by the way. Or I'm fairly certain neither player has. I'm... Well, I was fairly certain until just now. Randy certainly has it. Randy's commander is still very much alive. And... Gota's commander is... Okay, this is bizarre. I thought Gota's commander was alive, too. He was over here somewhere. Well, at any rate... I must... I... I'd be surprised if I missed that death. Did I seriously miss Gota's commander dying? Well, at any rate, Gota is coming with the sumo to take revenge? I, this can't be right. Gota has his commander around here somewhere. He's got to have his commander around here somewhere. Does he, does he not have the commander around here anymore? No, okay, so apparently... Okay, Gota pointed out in the chat he lost it to a bomber strike. How did I miss that? Or maybe I didn't. No, I... I huh, okay, that's... I've been so on the ball trying to get the commander kills. I sorry, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, sumo taking... Is now taking revenge. Oh, okay. It must have been the north. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, yeah. I see. There are all the shadows there. And... I guess the commander carcass has been reclaimed, which is why I don't see it anymore. But anyway, Sumo is coming in. Point out Jethro's are, in fact, cloaked. Rector's and Jethro's both cloaked. And now that the Rockos are in place, go to once again in an even match. And Randy, however, economic disadvantage, but Sumo coming in here, trying to take what it can. It's... Disruptor Beam is not bad, but its jump is the big attack it has, and the Rockers can get out of the way. Warriors, however, cannot. Once its jump is done refueling, it's going to be shooting for those Warriors if it doesn't just kill them by the Disruptor Beam outright by then. And Pyro's trading blows the Warriors pretty evenly. Another Warrior is going to... Well, actually, a Rock is going to go down. Warrior taking a bit of damage, mostly from Pyro's. Goaded slowly but surely is establishing more control in the center, and he has over... Soft map control. He needs to... Okay, going to the Avengers to the center to get rid of Shadow. The Warriors... I'm sorry, the Jethro's are going to take out the Avengers slightly. They're not going to actually kill any of them, but they're going to damage them a bit. Push them back. And then, once that happens, we are going to have... Once these Jethro's are gone, we are going to see that Goda is going to take air control once again. Not that Randy has really taken advantage of this. He knows he doesn't have air control yet, apparently. Or he certainly is acting like he doesn't have air control. 
which he really doesn't. However, he is trying to take the south once again. Goda has had an iron grip in this north this entire time. Actually, it hasn't really been challenged this entire time. The south and the center have been the contentious points, as you can see from all this wreckage. But the north, not so much. Now, granted, of course, north has had a lot of reclaim going on, but still, it hasn't been the focus anywhere near as much as the south has. Because Randy's been really trying to hold on to the side closer to him. As I mentioned at the beginning of the game, the south side is easier to get to a bit for the eastern player. And I think at this point he might be able to hold it once again. He does have a lot of rockers coming in. It's... I'm thinking these Avengers are just going to come down here. Once the Pyros are able to get rid of the Jethros, that's the big threat, is the Jethros. The Jethros are a problem. They need to be taken care of if there's any chance of anything else happening. Although, nice black hole there. No support, though, and it's not going to last too long. But the Pyros are going to come in. They are going to surround. They are going to get rid of these Rockos from the looks of it. Yes, these Rockos are going to all die to the Pyro. Nice. The last-minute support comes in. Gets rid of a good four or five Rockos all at once. Very nice economic use of that. But still... Oh, another black hole coming in here. Warrior almost walks into it, and more Pyro support coming in. And go to... Oh, nice use of the Napalm Bomber. This was just go over the Jethro's completely, although it's a loss of an Napalm Bomber, mind you. Still, able to damage a few more Rockos. If he's able to get rid of these Warriors, then that leaves the Jethro's open once the Jethro's are gone. I mean, the thing is, the Avengers, the advantage of throwing that out there is it reveals the Jethro's, or that too, reveals the Jethro's. Goda knows exactly that the Jethro's are there right now. So he can go for them. And it looks like he is going from the north down. He's going to have a sumo probably go into the main base and assault from there. Avengers definitely are. He knows all the Jethro's are far south. He's going to just assault the north at the same time that Randy attacks the main base. And Phoenix needs to get a good angle to get rid of these Rockos. Is it going to do that? Not going to go for it yet. The Pyros are not going for it. They probably could jump in and deal with that. The Avengers taking a few losses but able to deal with a lot of what Randy has to his north. At the same time, looks like, well, thankfully the Pyros can't really burn. I'm pretty sure they're immune to burning. But they are still getting hit by that. Not the most fun thing in the world, getting hit by their own Napalm Bombers. Still, that gets rid of a... Wait, what did they get rid of? I think Go just bombed his own units for no reason. But, at any rate, there might have been some Rockos. No, that... There was a Warrior, that's about it. However, what's more important is getting rid of these Rockos now. And just getting more and more Pyros to deal with this. And the sumo coming down from the north as well to finish this off. A nice pincer move with the sumo. I think once that happens and the Jethro's go down, I mean, Goda's already taken advantage of the Jethro's positioning to take out the north somewhat. The Zeus's are blocking the Avengers from moving further in, but still. It's... This is going to be kind of tough here. Goda does have enough pyros he could push through. Not sure if he's aware of that, though. There's only three Rockos. The Sumo coming from the backside should be able to finish everything else off, and once that happens, that will be... Well, much harder for Randy to get to. Randy does have a lot of reclaim he's pulling in, though. He's been not spending as much of it as he could be, though. Has been excessing. Goda has not been excessing. So right now, the economic advantage has not been that meaningful, honestly. And the Jethros are moving into a different position. The Sumo won't get them quite so easily, but... The Pyros, on the other hand... Where did the Pyros go? Oh, they're still here. What am I saying? They're all right here. They have not moved whatsoever. Jack, however, is moving in to try to help deal with everything here. Trying to break out of this. Not quite contained, but to once again reestablish the South as good as territory and not Randy's. And once that's done, I think that... Well... Goda will be slightly ahead in this game. Now, Randy right now, however, has a massive economic advantage. Thanks to Reclaim, he has a bunch of Reclaiming workers in the center. That entire field has been his, and... Goda, I'm sure, does not appreciate that. Randy, getting another Caretaker, now is going to make that useful. He has been floating metal quite a lot, and that's not helped him, but... Once he gets that Caretaker up, it's going to be a different story completely. That being said, Goda does have a military advantage. He is getting rid of these uses pretty well, actually. And... That was a nice jump. Those Zeus's did not move out of the way. Bit of a miss in the placeholder, though, but still, the Zeus's are going down to enough Pyros. Zeus's do not do crowd control well. As we saw in that game between Goda and El Torero, Zeus's are not crowd control. And this certainly demonstrates that the Pyro... Jack's tanking the laser shots for the most part. Pyro's getting rid of the Lotuses, and Randy has to move back once again. Losing the center reclaim fields, that is huge. Randy's economic advantage was entirely based on that. Now the players are once again even, and 
Builder getting more jacks, more pyros, which is powering through, but not quite able to do so. Randy still has a lot in the bank. He was still able to push out a couple dozen Roccos in the meantime. They are going to be not too hard to deal with. A few of them go down just to one sumo jump. So the sumo is able to take care of most of them, but even then, it doesn't move that quickly. The Roccos can easily outpace it. It needs to retreat, and that's exactly what Goda is doing. Getting it out of the way. Possibly flanking with Pyros. Looks like he is going for that. Probably going to go up the hill and then flank flank north from there. Not a... Okay, not the best placeholder, but really they're on the line, so it's not the easiest time to placehold. And the Sumo has successfully retreated. Still has a tenth of its health. Needs to go back and repair. And once it does that, it can go once again into combat. But... Randy has taken the center once again. He is not quite sent as many workers into reclaim, but still he has taken the center. Once again, the reclaim fields are his. It's been very hard for Gota to actually maintain presence in the center. He's broken Randy's control, but then Randy's reestablished it every time. Okay. So clearly something jump bots are good at is breaking things, but they aren't necessarily good at consolidating and making it their own. At least, not in the way it's being played right now. That being said, I also point out that Gota does have full air advantage. I'm a bit surprised he... I mean, okay, I'm not surprised he's not attacking here, but I'm a bit surprised he isn't attacking to the north, just double-checking that he can't. Still to the south, more Roccos go down. Not that it matters too much, there's still two dozen Roccos. Admittedly, they are being replaced in a production queue by Zeus's. Randy going for that instead, but still, that's... That's a lot of Roccos. That's a lot of Roccos for Gota's Pyros to deal with. And... At this point, though, Gota does have... The North Consolidated. Both players are consolidated in a pretty nice spot. Just that Randy has had his consolidation broken many times. Many, many a time. And just point out, five jacks are being repaired. Once they're repaired, Sumo's out. The second Sumo, about a minute away from being done. Only seven Pyros, though. Nice use of a placeholder once again. Splitting up that army pretty well, too. And a bunch of Roccos... Walking into the placeholder, or walking into the black hole, getting taken up. That's five Roccos when it could have been three. Still... No, actually, at this point, Goda does have a bit of an advantage. He's... Mostly by clever use of the placeholder, though. That has... I think the placeholder alone has credited him with about 20 kills of Roccos. That is huge! That is... That's, well, about 1,800 metal right there. So the placeholder has... Played, paid for itself nine times over. But also, it's just been one of the big assets helping to break Randy's hold in the center of the map, at least every time that happens. That being said, I think Gota's lack of a commander doesn't help. The fact that he can't easily go down here and reclaim and have a nice tough unit here. Randy's commander, on the other hand, just been in the base, just been building up, getting more and more caretakers, just to get any excess metal into the factories, which is what he needs to do. But it looks like Gota is ready, he is pushing in. Wants this to be the final push, and we'll see if it is. Nice jump on that sumo. Gets rid of a lot of a lot of the defenses over here. Lotus and Defender, and I think a Metal Extractor as well. Yep, Metal Extractor gone as well. And Placeholder doesn't quite help against the Zeus, but... It's... Oh, no! The Placeholder is going to go down! That is unfortunate. That Placeholder was huge. Still, the Jacks are going to try to get in place to get rid of the Zeuses. One of them will be able to do so, no problem. The other ones, I think, will be outpaced by the Zeuses. However, Sumo along the south side is going to be a pain to deal with. Sumo along the center as well. Gota is once again breaking this. Randy is retreating, and his Jethros are the main unit he still has left. Actually, he's got about two dozen of those, but... 19 of those, not quite two dozen, but... At the same time, Randy does go to the north, taking out Gota's expansion to the north. And this is where the Avengers could really come in. Oh no! Never mind, the Jethros are moving in, but... Gota, on the other hand, has taken the south. He is moving some Pyros up north to deal with the Jethros. If he goes and gets rid of the Jethros, he can use the Avengers to defend. He's got to be aware of this, but it looks like most of his Avengers have gone down in the process. At the same time, though, Gota does have the south side of the map, and he has taken full advantage of that. In fact, this area is now dead to Randy. He, this area, too, although it doesn't matter. But yeah, this section here is dead to Randy. He can't easily defend it. This Sumo will just be able to take it out. That being said, Gota has lost this section of the map as well, and I think Gota has actually... Maybe he lost his main base. Depends on what he has there, but I think Randy just has to push into the main base to destroy it. And Randy, however, losing a lot of his base as well. Gota's pushing in. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but it depends on the Roccos. And no, the Roccos not moving back fast enough. The Pyros can get rid of them. Pyros 
attacking the factories, getting rid of at least one of the factories. And Jack's helping out there. Okay. Go okay, Goda just managed to destroy Randy's base faster than Randy destroyed Goda's. So actually go to this second sumo here. That slows things down a lot. That, actually that that's gonna give go to the game. So lessons learned, things to take away from this is that Goda is Well, it was a good player. Jump bots, you need to be careful how you set up. Cloaking bots have an easier time consolidating than jump bots do, or at least apparently do. And if you lose territory for a little while, not the biggest deal, just you just need to break out. Apparently, jump bots much more focused on breaking out than on holding the line. And Randy throws in the towel. That is game. That was a really cool game. So, thank you for watching, and that will be it for me tonight. So, hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everybody.